so when you talk about persistency or persistence usually it's the, what comes to mind is the ability or that strength within you to keep pushing regardless of challenges and obstacle and it's monday on today's live we talk about work what are those tumbling block what are those challenges that have made you contemplated quitting or that have made you wanted to just throw the towels life generally is not without challenges whether you like it or not it will throw dirt at you and like i say said before and i'm repeating myself today that it doesn't even care about you but while you are at your goal while you are pushing and then these obstacle challenges keep dragging you what do you do do you quit or you keep pushing on today's live we're talking about persistency my name is joyce jacada we are live on facebook and youtube at equa television international I'm not doing this alone. Sambo Suleiman Sabi is right here. Jemima Emmanuel. I almost said Jemima Suleiman. Wow. <laughs> I hope somebody will not shoot me. It's a mistake. I almost said I didn't say. And yours sincerely. You didn't need a last but not <laughs> Yours sincerely. So long, I'm last but not the least. The last but not the least. Wow. <laughs> wow. Engineer Tony Jonah Nekali. Thank you so much. Now go to <laughs> I mean, this is today's I'm life. I'm writing you after this show. This is today's life. Oh. I'm writing you after not, this show. Not what? Not sorry, but I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, well, we don't know how to speak English. She's out for me today. <laughs> okay. No, no. <laughs> Let's talk <laughs> about work. There is not, you know, if work is not, just quit, I beg. Don't kill it. Don't go and kill yourself. No <laughs> grief for anybody. Hey. This consistent. Go and, go and quit, I beg. Quit, I eat what? <laughs> yeah? I eat what? The benefits of quitting. <laughs> Oh God! Wait. Just, you don't know that there are people that are advising people this way. Yes. Don't go and disturb yourself because of one stupid work. Mm. Yes, no. If you die, work will continue. continue. People keep saying mm. that, mm. and that is why people have an attitude towards work mm. because a lot of times people cover for others. Mm. So Lord did not do what is expected. Jemima did not do what is expected. Joyce will come and cover for them. Mm. You know. So they are used to someone always covering for them. Mm. And they are most like, may, maybe maybe they have not gotten in trouble mm. for not doing what is their responsibility, you know. So people don't really care about making it by hook or by crook mm. in this generation. Mm. If, you, if you take a mental picture now of people that are just at home waiting for daddy or mommy to come and buy food, mm. I'm not saying... I said people, I didn't say pupils. I didn't say, I didn't say them, um, them Nathan and Co. They are not the ones I'm talking about. I'm talking about people that should go and bring food for their parents. They're lying down at home, chatting, you know, texting people, doing all sorts of things. When the phone dies, please on Jen's more. 30 minutes, let me charge my phone. And while the phone is charging, they are still. So that addiction sways your attention from productivity there's no in fact when you don't have a social life you start dying slowly everybody has a social life that they maintain but your social life should not be kept on top because your work life funds your social life so you cannot come and keep your your social life on top of work mm -mm. Your work life is what defines you. Imagine when God put Adam in the garden, he said, work. So, and, and when, when Adam missed it, a lot of people think, Kai. well, he has disappointed God and all of that. But today we think if we miss it at work, we disappoint our bosses. No, it's a God-given responsibility. It's a God-given responsibility. It's almost like a curse. When God cursed the, as he said, the man must uh, uh, till the ground. And the woman will have severe pain during labor. The pain that cannot be compared to any. You see, today is it different? No, it's not. Some people say they don't want to give birth by themselves. They prefer CS. Go and do the CS. And come and tell us whether it is painful or not. You understand? So people must be deliberate about consistency. Consistency is not just being consistent with work is not just doing what you are employed to do consistently. No. It's also dealing with people positively, consistently. Mm. 
is also doing the right thing consistently. If you keep your primary responsibility aside, there are several other things that you do. You don't get tired of being nice just because people are bad. No, you have to be consistent with that as well. So consistency is in, in every ramification. You see, I, I, I was going to say that um, when the, the word persistence is like you keep pushing regardless of what, like a perfect image of persistence is when you're trying to walk and like the odds are against you, you have something holding this leg, another one holding this leg, trying to drag you back. But regardless, you're trying to push to just get forward. Or uh, maybe an athlete, a sports person, or an inventor, or even an entrepreneur, though there are competitors out there, though there are other people that other people that are trying to invent, come up with certain things, though their market might be setting, but you know you have a responsibility to come up with something. You know you have a responsibility to win. And then even though you fall, even though you're hearing that this team has scored against hours you don't stop you keep playing because there is a goal and it it, it is difficult like sometimes talking about uh, uh maybe my own share of experience we're talking about work there are times that you know that in built you have a goal you have a target because the work does not revolve around you you work with other people and then there is another goal like a goal for all the team members to achieve. And then when you are pushing, trying to make sure that you get to the finish line, obstacle, challenges, people are trying to drag you back and forth because this is not just about me, but I know there are a lot of people out there as well that though they know that there is a goal for them, there's a target for them, and while they are pushing at it, there are certain things that have stood before them as tumbling block. And then the only option that for them is Maybe I should just quit. Maybe I should just throw the to well. Maybe this environment is just toxic for me. Maybe I should not even be in this environment. Like people contemplate that. And not just contemplating that others decide to even quit. But another person is persisting. How do you deal with or how do you balance you trying to persist and then the challenge is trying to dr- pull you back or drag you down? I would say it's from your decision mm. before you started. What you decided, okay, I want to do this. I want to see it through to the end. Mm. So you, wh- when you were deciding, you didn't even know what color or size or shape the obstacles would look like. Mm-hmm. But you knew that obstacles would definitely come. Mm. And you had already decided in your mind that whatever comes, you are going to scale through. Mm. So that is what keeps pushing you, the mindset. Some people give up without even starting. Mm-hmm. Some give up just little ahead mm-hmm. when they start. So it is that uh, mindset that you had before starting mm-hmm. that keeps pushing you through. Mm-hmm. You know, they said um, the drum is loudest mm-hmm. when it is at the end. Mm-hmm. So y- no matter how loud, no matter how wide or big the obstacle is, the fact that you had determined in your mind mm-hmm. that you want to persist and see it through to the end, you keep pushing regardless of, Mm. whatever comes your way yeah drive drive plays a very vital role true your drive mm. Mm. i think it was two or three days ago i made a post and i said you only enjoy hard work when you do what you love doing mm. that apart you will not enjoy what you're doing there are a lot of people who come to a place of work and they are like why are you people laboring like donkeys mm. here mm. I can't fit in here. It's not like they cannot do that work. Give them what they love. Mm-hmm. They will do it even much more than they see other people do. Just this morning, I was telling the staff, I said, look, the next two weeks will be crazy mm-hmm. for some of you in your unit. There's this event. Right from there, you're not coming back to base. You're going back to this event and Right from there, you are going to another event. For, so for three weeks, you are working like a month. Mm-hmm. You are working, and he said he has been anticipating because that's what he loves. Mm-hmm. That was his response. So you see, there are some people that will be like, eh? <laughs> "I hope they will shuffle us before somebody will go and die." You see, these are the things that make you either. I saw I was seated somewhere when somebody was teaching people how to sing. And he said, you see these high notes? Your voice can hit it. 
but it's your mind that encourages the voice. If your mind tells you you can go, you will go. Mm. But if your mind says, wait to let me think, mm. don't go because you will not get there. Okay. So you see, almost everything in this life is a function of the mind. Mm. There are people who don't do hard work, but their work is risky. Imagine people who climb masts mm. to fix stuff. I saw someone online on this ve- this tiny pole, this mast. This ve- the tiny one, not the one that is, no, the tiny one. He went to the topmost. He had gimbal on his head and everywhere he had cameras recording him. The thing was like, it was like a shaky there. But he was smiling and he was doing his work. You can, I have, number one, Tony Nakali has great phobia for height. I do. Is is always a, a difficult thing for me flying, but I have to, but because I have phobia. Mm. But I have to persist because there is something I want to achieve. Mm. But a lot of people don't think of anything they want to achieve. They just think there is a supervisor somewhere, or there is a boss somewhere, or there is a director somewhere, or there is a GM somewhere, or an MD, or a governor, or a chairman, or somebody... Or a superior somewhere that is just putting my life under unnecessary pressure. But you see that man at the top. He passed through what you are going through right now. Times he cannot count. That's why he is where he is. And where he is, is not that he's less pressured. No. There is pressure. But it's not the type that you go through. His own at that level is more psychological than it is physical. Why? Because he grew to the level where he would have a lot of people doing the menial jobs, the job that requires physical strength. Mm. Then you have a lot of people employed to do that. At that level, he is thinking. Once you rise to that level, you think. Mm. You don't just think. You think thoughts that are reasonable. Mm. Because one bad thought Mm. can ruin a whole organization. Mm. So you have to keep thinking. You have to keep thinking. You have to keep persisting. You have to keep persisting. Mm. And you have to be consistent in the thinking and and the persistence. So it's, it's a whole lot of work. Mm. I, I see this life uh, like a journey. You know, that you're bothering uh, a taxi or a bus. Like, plenty of you. You're going somewhere. And then, possibly, maybe, you have a particular destination at heart. Mm. And that's where you're headed. But just of a sudden, after maybe some distance and then somebody is saying he's dropping you is either he forgot something mm. or he just felt okay let me just stop by here there's a friend around here and check you and check on the friend in this journey you decide where you want to drop you decide and the, the driver all he cares he doesn't care whether you are at your destination just or pay not. him <laughs> as long as you pay him that's mm. that's just it because I was discussing with somebody that is going somewhere around Bochi. Is it, uh, is it uh, the name close to Bochi? Zaranda. Zaranda. Mm. Yeah, close to Bochi. Mm. But you are paying. Uh, Bauchi fare. You are paying Bauchi fare. Mm. You know when the person was was telling the driver, "How about now? I'm dropping mm, at." Uh, before Bauchi now. So why am I paying? Mm-hmm. So the person now told him, mm-hmm. so there's no problem with me. I can drop you in Bauchi so that you start coming to Zaranda. Mm-hmm. <laughs> All he cares is just that you pay him that money that he will take you to. But that means where you are dropping in no shell mm-hmm. is not his problem. Mm-hmm. If you are complaining because of the money, no problem. I can still take you to the Bauchi. Mm-hmm. You, you decide mm-hmm. to come back so that you enjoy that money you pay. Mm-hmm. So that's life. And, and like you said earlier, when you say the life doesn't care. Mm-hmm. Yes, it doesn't care. The reason why it doesn't care is because the world is being designed in a such a way that itself is on, on herself. Mm-hmm. Yes. Because if you look at life now, everybody is thinking about himself. Mm-hmm. What to get, how to get. And that's why some people will say, I don't care. Even if I'm destroying every, any uh, people around me to get to where I want to, I don't care. Mm-hmm. You hear people saying that. You understand? Because they feel 
okay, I have a goal, I have a target, I don't care what you think and I don't care how you want to reach there. Me, I have my target. If it means destroying people to be where I'm supposed to be, I will. Mm. They don't care. So, so you, you have to reason and know. Like I was taking somebody uh, uh, yesterday, I said, you see this life, this hustle of a thing, yes. You can have somebody that is your brother or a friend, a person one for that matter. But just imagine the person is hustling that he can spend one million without him feeding. Mm. And every day you know, you you know that that person can give you five five thousand like every every day mm. without him feeding. But do you know that same person will feel somehow at some point like I'm not feeling it. It's not the money that is the issue. Mm. But the person will be like, why should I be giving you five five thousand every day? Like why? Why I am busy thinking of how to generate that money. I am busy traveling on how to generate that money. And you are somewhere sitting down thinking that just this. So you have to know where you are coming from and where you are going. And be determined and be persistent. If not, life will give you reasons to drop where you are not supposed to drop. Mm. And that's why you see that some people today, instead of them to persist in what they have started, rather... They will stop and they will keep lamenting mm. about what either my younger brother or my senior <laughs> brother did to me mm. that I'm not happy that made me to withdraw, mm. not to achieve my goal. Or what my friend mm. did to me. See Joyce, oh, all this while, see how we have been together. Mm. But just imagine what Joyce will do just because of 5,000. Is it your 5,000? Mm. Mm. Yes. Because you have no single idea how she denied herself that sleep and she was persistent in what she's doing and she's good at what she she does mm. and then it fish her money mm. and then it's the money that you now you are dragging it, uh, for me and it's not even a problem for her giving it, you no, the money no it's not mm. but what she finds as problem mm. is how you are so relaxed that's and comfortable collecting that money. collecting that money mm. because a lot of people are like that sure. yes recently the, what you said just reminded me of uh, a post that i made on status and i think on facebook I said, make it an ambition. Mm. Work real hard mm. to know the difference mm. or the distinguishing factor mm. between the person who gives and the person who receives. Okay. You saw it, right? Yes. Some people don't care. I beg, if I didn't get Name is spent for us. Mm. The person that is spending for you is not a fool. Mm. He's doing it because he has more than enough to spend. Mm. But the moment you start taking that as a right, mm. even God will withdraw. Mm. Because a lot of us don't go back to tell God thank you. Mm. A lot. We just feel, uh -uh, what we are doing for him, he should be able to pay us even more than this. Mm. Eh? <laughs> you understand? Mm. You, you see a lot of people, they, they, they act, the gratitude, this attitude of gratitude, ba, is not found, especially amongst people who should know that I should say thank you. I'm talking about Christians. Mm. When you hear certain people tell you things about life, mm. I want to disassociate solo. Mm. If you don't believe the same thing or even more than I do about life, I don't want to be close to you. Mm. Because that your old sad spirit <laughs> will get me victimized. Yes, mm. to contaminate the atmosphere. When people start shouting, ha! Dollar is going up. Where will poor man eat? Solo, you can never hear me say that. Mm. Because the people that are complaining, did Tinubu hear it? Did Buari hear it? Did Good Luck hear it? Maybe the people that are close to him are even saying, Kai, Your Excellency, people are out there praising your efforts. Mm. The economy is taking shape. Mm. Mm. Meanwhile, you are here saying all sorts of things. Mm. Sir, nobody has ever achieved anything in the history of this life since creation by complaining. Nobody has achieved anything. Mm. The only thing you achieve is that you are so you, 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 the success you have is that Jamima listen to you while you are complaining. That's the only mm. thing you will achieve. Mm. If I'm complaining to you mm. and you are able to hear me, that's the only thing I have achieved. Jamima heard when I was complaining. Mm. What did she do about my situation? Nothing. She might even make it worse by saying, Kai, even me now, I don't even know what to eat next. Mm. Let me just call my husband and see if he can provide something. Mm. See, my case is that worse than that of Homity Domity. Hmm. <laughs> and, and, and you see this, this consistency of a thing. If you don't believe it, 
for me, you don't belong to the kingdom of the Most High. Hmm. Because it's one of his attributes. He's a God of consistency. Hmm. So, where do you belong? In fact, the Bible says we should be ready in and out of season. Mm. In other words, be consistent. (laughs) It's scriptural. We live in a time where nobody wants to be consistent. Mm -hmm. Nobody wants to go through the process. Nobody wants to do the work. Like, everybody just wants things sharp, sharp, like now, now. Mm -hmm. And no wonder you see how that people jump from one ministry to the other. People jump from one work to the other. People jump from one business to the other. Because nobody is patient. Nobody wants to persist to get the result like why would you give up um like forever pride or enjoyment that you have to just for temporary pre- uh, pleasure and that's what we see people do today if i'm going to take up this job and then i need effort to then be successful the person would rather quit and opt for another thing that because the, the mindset the thought is that let me just get this sharp sharp if it's not i leave so you no wonder you see people jumping from one work to the other, from one business to the other, even down to even ministries or churches from one to the other because they are not patient. But you see, for you to be successful, for you to achieve your goal, persistency and goals like work hand in hand, the only thing that makes you persist is when you have a target, when you have a goal. I can tell you that I've had 101 reasons, both work or sidecraft, to quit. But then what kept me going was not, there are challenges. I cannot even take them. Like Engineer Tony will always say, you can't stop people from being who they are. Mm. But then what is your drive? Mm -hmm. I can tell you that it is the drive and it is the goal that has kept me moving. And I know for a lot of people too out there, because if you're not dealing with your colleagues, maybe you're dealing with your uh, superiors. If you're not dealing with your superiors, maybe you're subordinate one way or the other, like, challenges will always come while you're trying to deal with this another one comes up while you're trying to another one to another one to come come up but then what keeps you going is that target is that goal that you've set to achieve and so persistency or consistency can just cannot just happen to you like that you cannot just say okay i'm going to be persistent from tomorrow persistent on about what? what yeah so mm-hmm. you must define you must have a goal you must define it. You must have a picture of where you are headed. Joyce, I think that's what Jamima was trying to say earlier mm. when she talked about you must dream it first. Mm. You understand? And I think I also said you mm. must have a drive. Drive, mm. true, true. And look at what Solo said on mm. top of it. Mm. If you don't have a drive anywhere you find yourself, it's a drive. Mm. Because mm. when you are traveling and you don't know the destination, anywhere you get to, it's a destination. Mm-hmm. Because when you left... You didn't know where you were going to, mm. but you are back. You are embarking on the journey. journey. Mm. This thing called um, persistence, mm. persistency. Mm. Why are you? Per- what are you persisting about? Mm. Why are you? Per- what? What are you being persistent about? Mm. What is the persistence? Mm. And what is the level of your persistence? Because mm. you must have something that is making sure. you persistent. Mm. Have you ever been on a lady's case, mm. toasting her? And she's still doing. <laughs> you know, persistency plays a vital role. Very, very. There's a good. <laughs> you send a message. You hear prim. You are thinking it's ah. You don't ah. Yeah, yeah. MTN. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, nine mobile. <laughs> oh, you hear? Uh, I'm telling you, two men are walking from Jerusalem to. Is is either one story or not? Mm-hmm. Are you anticipating? Mm-hmm. And you'll be like, I sent you a message and wait. Oh, you are waiting for money from someone. That one, the, the persistence on checking your phone. People should have a goal. I think um, today's life is becoming a repetitive uh, uh, show. We talk about a lot of things in different ways, but one thing, we're talking about one thing in multiple ways. We just want people to wake up and have a dream. Have you not met mechanics in just that since we were in secondary school, they were mechanics? Mm-hmm. Today they are still mechanics. Mm-hmm. They will like, ah, glory be to God, I built a house. So mm-hmm. my children are almost, the last one is finishing university, university. now. Mm-hmm. Um, and once mm-hmm. they are done, if God opens, so they'll say, Daddy, come and rest. Mm-hmm. Say, okay, no, I'll be going to work, but by two, I'll come back home. Mm-hmm. You see, you have to be. No, no, not everybody will become a millionaire. Mm-hmm. 
Mm. Not everybody will become a billionaire. Mm. Not everybody will become a trillionaire. Mm. Not everybody will have Brazilians mm. of Naira or, or zillions of Naira. No, not everybody. Mm. But everybody demands the right to be happy with this life. Mm. Everybody mm. is your right to be happy in this life. Mm. And it's your responsibility as well mm. to make yourself happy. Yes, mm. yes. True. It's true. You woke up you had a choice to come to work, but your body is saying, for no reason, just lie down home and sleep. And you're like, hey, hey, I can't do that. When Tony Nakale is still my GM, I can't do that. But you can do it. You can do it. Nothing will happen to you, but somebody will react about the situation. Guess what? There are people today, as we are talking, they left their homes without knowing where they are going to and what they are going to achieve for the day. Mm. And as they are listening, tomorrow they will wake up and repeat the same thing. Mm. What will stop you from saying, it's not too late, even if you are 70 years old. Yeah. If you are still alive, it's mm. not too late. Yeah. True. Yeah. Did you see, I attended a, a burial mm. of the late uh, parents mm. of the former governor of Plateau State, Joshua Chibi Daniel. Mm. And people were called to testify. So that was the highlight of that event for me. Mm. People were called to testify. Mm. And the woman said, Mama, they call her Kaka. They said, she said, Kaka is gone. Mm. Who will advise us? Mm. In the whole of that village, mm. she said, who will advise us? And I, I, it sounded like one of the things that everybody would say at a funeral. Mm. But guess what she said next? She said, Mama, I don't know. I don't know. I Yes. She said, Mama, her son was governor. She was still selling salt. Not in bags, though. The one that you tie. Mm. You buy like a measure of it. Mm. Then you tie it and sell it. Mm. And she said, She told us that my son's money is not my own. He said, do something to get your own money and support the house. Mm. Her son was governor, sir. And I'm sure that time, she was not buying the food she ate. Mm. She was not buying the clothes she wore. Mm. She was not buying everything she used. But she needed that money mm. for something mm. that she could not ask anybody. Mm. How many people today, even his children, I'm not sure they thought that way. Mm. Maybe they were young then. Mm. Let's say. Mm. But look at how many people now you see when somebody becomes a governor and he has mm. uh old uh, children that are matured, they start running things in the mm. state. Mm. Any contract the father is going to uh, is going to to give out. They want to know what is the percentage, what is this? No, this person will not do it. No, this person will do it, no, this person will not do it. Sir, everybody must wake up mm. and first of all have a goal. Mm -hmm. Who do I want to become in this life? Mm. What do I want to achieve? Mm. Then you have to make plans. Mm. And then you have to have strategy on how you will achieve these plans. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then before you become persistent. Mm -hmm. Because you cannot be persistent over nothing. nothing. Mm. True. True. You know, recently with the um, hike in prices of commodities in the market, a lot of businesses couldn't cope. Yes. Like there were a lot of businesses that crashed, mm -hmm. but there were some businesses that were blooming. Mm -hmm. So when you check the two scenarios, in fact, I met a lady at the market that says, oh, I used to do this business, but I had to stop. And I asked her why. She said she was doing this other business. She was into mining as well, young lady. And then she came with bunch of money and then she was asked oh, just help me keep on to get something then i'll come back then she was like oh i used to do this but i stopped and i i, I got interested and I asked her, why did you quit she said the cost of the materials are now high and all and that's why she just had to pack off and then she decided to go into this business and i said okay this is another lady that decided to diversify but there are some that decide to close up the shop and just sit and do nothing mm. And then the, the answer is always, I can't afford to buy this at this price. Mm. But for some businesses, it was also an opportunity for them to boom. Mm. Like, you, they persist because they know that I cannot 
just close up and sit and do nothing there's a goal there's where i want to achieve with this thing that i am doing i didn't just wake up to start it because i didn't just wake up and then saw myself in it that's why i cannot just pack up like that the economy the the, the environment might be too tight but if there's actually the target if there's a goal that is what will keep you moving regardless those economic policies that are not friendly are part of the challenges are part of the obstacle but it is that goal it is that target that keeps you going regardless you can't wake up and just say talk i don't know what the day has for me mm. you end up persisting on nothing mm. but when you know you have where you are headed then regardless of what the world or what life throws at you you just shake up and then keep moving i think information <laughs> information is vital mm. the same way inform uh, education is mm. there are people who joyce have you have you been on the streets of joyce around 8 p.m yeah sometimes it's like it's a curfew mm. Mm. Eight nine, there's nobody outside. Mm. Businesses are closing, mm. Mm. but you know what? When a door is closed, many more are open. True. But I just, I people that are watching should just think, mm. what kind of business mm. can I do for the now? Mm. Think about it. All of these people mm. that are closing to go somewhere, mm. all of these people that have cars mm. and are thinking. I cannot go outside and have fun mm. with my car. Mm. And the place I like having fun is a very long distance. Mm. How can you do to take fun to their homes? Mm. Mm. Think mm. about a lot of things. Mm. Now, when you do anything online, people patronize, True. right? Mm. But it's not everything. Like, in this part of the world, what you order in most cases is not what is delivered. Mm. Mm. Not. In fact, so some of the things mm. you order, they are graphic items. They yes. are not what you are buying, mm. really. They are just computer uh, graphics. And then you just be like, wow, this mug is beautiful. Mm. Can I have 40? Mm. And then you send money. And then they bring the mug, <laughs> mug looking like uh, 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 a broken bottle that was put together. Mm. But it doesn't look like, say, oh God, that's how it is in real life. Mm. You have paid money. In fact, the delivery person tells you, I've ordered a lot of things they'll bring to my office. I say, ah, this thing looks smaller than it is. They say, oh, God, I don't even know the thing. My own is just delivery. They send me to deliver and collect money. Mm. Mm. Who will you fight? But the point is, to what level mm. is your creativity? To what level is your reasoning yeah. ability? Mm. Because right now, if you look, if you just go and stand in main market, mm. in terminals, and you come up with a device that people can get what they went to Terminus to buy without coming to Terminus, mm. and you can make it easy for them in just you become a millionaire. Yes, yes. Mm. Mm. this hair mm. that people are making, mm. there's mm. hardly a lady who does not have a hair she wears, except my mom. I think mm. I've never seen her wearing the hair, is not even strong enough. I hope she's not watching. Mm. The hair is not strong enough to hold this kind of hair, if she shakes it, it will fall off. <laughs> but if you count 10. Ladies that are 50 and below, mm. they have hair at home mm. that is not their own. <laughs> <laughs> so think about it. How do you... Do you know that in Lagos, people rent this hair that you make? Yeah. They rent it. Mm. Lagos, Potakot, Abuja, you can rent it, go and use it for two, three days and bring it back. Mm. So what, what, what are people think? Why do people think they have to? They have to. Now, who makes wedding gowns? In those days, people sew wedding gowns. Mm. Now, nobody does. Mm. You browse it, you rent it, they do take it to the laundry store. And you must be, in fact, mm. we are talking about being persistent mm. about things. In fact, you have to be persistent about being persistent. Mm. Mm. That is it. Mm. You have to, okay, I will always say, what can you do? Okay, I can repair fridge. Oh, you're excellent at it. Yes. What else can you do? Mm. When God created Adam and Eve, he gave them four streams in the garden. And God says, in case one dries up, and he has the ability not to make it dry up, mm. but in case one dries up, you have to keep pulling. Mm. That's why you see some pastors, after preaching, they're writing books. Mm. After writing books, they are doing some courses about certain things mm. that will give them time to even if not to make money but to vol volunteer somewhere and be relevant. Mm. Look at our leaders in Equa. Mm. 
is either an NGO is engaging them for something mm. or a different ministry other than Equa is engaging them to do so, it's because they have built capacity. True. You can't sit down and say, I am a pastor. If it's, this, if it's not this Bible, leave me. Oh. Mm. No. Mm. Read. In fact, someone right. asked, asked this question recently that if there's a policy that renders your certificate useless, what can you do to end yourself a living? Mm. Because it, it's like a lot of people who only think of, oh, let me just get the certificate. It gives me access and that is all. Like we don't build capacity. If we don't there build is, skills. If there is, he's asking <laughs> if there is. There are so many things. Uh, mm-hmm. There are so many things. Do, I'm, I'm sorry to say this, but I just started, le- I just started learning a trade mm. online mm. that takes two hours of your time, two, three hours of your time daily, mm. and then you make money in dollars. Mm. I have two, three hours to spare. Mm. Is your own two, three hours or not? They are all, no, it's your own. It mm. can be 12 to 3 a.m. Mm. It can be 3 a.m. to 6 a.m. It can be 6 a.m. to 9 a.m. It can be 9 a.m. to whatsoever if you have three hours to spare. Mm. Mm. I'm really learning the art of doing that. Mm. See, I have said that this is who I want to become mm. in this field. Mm. I need money because I need to study. Mm. Studying is not free. Mm. Apart from the small, small online classes that I take mm. on certain things, that I even when I enter the class, I find out that these were things I learned 10 years ago, 5 years ago. But let me just get it for the certificate and mm. then let it be certified that mm. I, I went through this. I have to be persistent in remaining relevant. Mm. Mm. I'm not studying all these courses so that I can make money. Who will even employ you with uh, sandwich courses? Mm. No, nobody. It's just for you to add knowledge. Mm. Or what, what do they call it? Uh, refresher programs or refresher courses mm. and all of that. You understand? Mm. You won't make money. It's just the knowledge you have that it will be added. Or they bring you up to date about your trade. Mm. But that thing that you learned that is your main trade mm. should be your main hustle. Mm. Every other thing should be supporting system. Mm. But People don't care. They tell you that even this one that we are doing, mm. when did we finish doing it? Mm. There is a girl I always celebrate online. Mm. I always celebrate this girl. I was talking to somebody mm. about the girl. He started the same, almost the same business as a girl. I was talking to somebody about the girl. He said, ah, that girl, mm. she is young enough to be my third daughter. Mm. But she's my mentor. Mm. He said, we talk. We talk. Your girl from Plato. Mm. Joyce, if you see her hustle, mm. she's into food stuff. There's one like that, I think I know too. She started it when she was seven. At some point, she goes to the market even with her khaki, and people are looking at her. Oh, so. Khaki, what does that mean? That uh, NYC? Uh, yes. yes. What's her name? Is it Gladys or something? I can't remember okay, the name. Okay, that's not the one. No. This one has a name of the company. Yes, she does. Too. That one, she mm. is in every market in the plateau. Mm. She's selling everything that people eat. Mm. Mm. She's even higher. You see her with one whole bag. Mm. And she'll tell you that she's like she's unboxing, she's unwrapping the, mm. the, the sack of Aya. People use it to do this, to do this. This is a nutritional value. Before evening, she will tell you, I have 10 measures left. Hmm. Hmm. You see her with her apron and her money stuffed in. This girl has a rice meal. But she has a Sharon and a driver. You see her inside with dirty clothes. Go and see her post on weekends. She's balling big time with her money. Hmm. Meanwhile, other girls, hmm. they prefer to do prostitution and make money. Hmm. She's doing a legit business. These are the kind of people that one day their name will go to the governor's sure. chair. Mm. And you say, this Christmas rice mm. that we are buying 200 bags, one, 10 trailers, Give let her supply. be the supplier. Mm. And before you know it, boom. I saw her driving. I don't know if it's her car. You know how they will drive? They will not post all. They mm. just show them singing. And, this. Mm. and maybe, mm. sir, this hustle, how many girls can do what she's doing? There are more of her dirty pictures online mm. than there are her clean pictures. Mm. But she's, since I met her, what I had to do, I did. I sent her a message mm. to tell her I am impressed. Wow. Mm. She reluctantly said thanks mm. and continued her business. Thanks. Every day, sir. So one day I asked her for a number. She sent it. So I buy grains from her. Mm. I have never met this girl in this life. Once I order something, she say, okay, thank you, sir. It's going to be delivered now. Before you know it, Keke is in front of your house. Peep, peep, peep. Hmm. Your rice, your corn, your all of these things. 
They are in the keke. They will deliver and go. The keke mm. man will tell you he has another delivery. Mm. A young girl, she's single, she's not married. Mm. Adura Green Ventures. That's her name. Mm. Please check her out. Mm. I am so impressed. You, you can't go to a lady like that and not borrow a million. Mm. But look at, even some women are at home mm. saying, since they married me, they didn't give me this. They mm. didn't give me this. I need 10 million to start a capital. Go and meet this lady and ask her how much how she, started she started with. Mm. This thing is not money. It's determination. Mm. Mm. I told you on today's live during Joyce Yaquari, Valia, all that. I met a group of young people who gave me a very brilliant idea of a business they wanted to start. But they said they're looking for 6 million to start it. And for me, I'm when, when, while they were talking, I was hearing billions in my head mm. as the proceeds from this business. So I said, wow. So why, why do you need um, six million, six, million. six point something million to start? Mm. They said that they need to get good clothes mm. so that they can talk to people and people will respect them for what they are wearing mm. and they, they cannot go and present a proposal with a hired vehicle. So they need to buy a vehicle. Mm -hmm. So we started, we started, they said they need a vehicle, they need this, they need that, and they need a house where they can also use as office. I think mm. four of them or so. By the time we were done, 300 and I think 10,000 was what they needed. And they started. They are in Lagos now. They are just boys. Mm. They are in Lagos. It's been a while since we spoke. But sometimes if you see their post, you know that that 6 million they are looking for, they can give somebody now. Mm. You know, it's so, so, some people just think, ha, ah, kissing that and some could have business. Mm. But in some money, and 2 million, Kigani, you will never get it. Mm. You will never get it. Money is a spirit. Mm. Money knows what you will do with it that it will also be happy that mm. you use it mm -hmm. to do that thing. Mm. Money knows what you will do that money will refuse coming to your place. Mm. So we are talking about people persisting about things. Please persist about things you can be consistent mm. about. Mm. Not mm. just to persist mm. just like that. You know, True. there are people that, that tilt toward the negative with their persistence. Have mm. you seen somebody who persist on something that you are, you're telling the person this thing is not even good for you? Mm. No, this is not the way. But mm -mm, is this thing based on experience and based on exposure saying this is not the right thing for you? And the person is looking at you as the enemy. I mm. like, let me just go to somebody that will tap my back and support me and on this me, Go ahead with <laughs> yeah. that. Mm. So you don't you don't persist on the wrong things. Mm. When something is wrong, is wrong. There's no excuse for that. Mm. But you see, that work that you're doing that is legal, that is le legit, that work that is helping you meet ends need. Mm. For somebody, his or her drive is the fact that I don't want to end up going from one office to the other begging people. And because I don't want my life to turn out that way, why can't I work hard to ensure that I meet ends needs? Mm. For another person, the drive is, let me get to the point that I'll be able to support. Like, let me work hard so that my family would not have to suffer. Like, my family will have the life that I didn't have. That is the drive and that is the goal. And you see the person persisting and working hard, regardless of the challenges, though the environment is not friendly, though the work colleagues challenges up and down, but I'm persisting. I'm not quitting on this because I have family to take mm. care of. Mm. And you see, you are pushing. Like, there is an assignment on my head. Mm. I'm not supposed to end that th this way or that way. And that's why even when people present things to you, like, oh, just quit, just leave, just do this. And you just hear and smile. No, that's not the goal. The goal is to get up there. The goal is to keep pushing. The goal is to meet ends need. The goal is to be a blessing to others. The goal is to be, uh, like, to impact on your generation. The goal is that when posterity remember you, they will clap their hands. So you keep pushing regardless of the challenge. It is that inner strength in you. And that's why earlier on I said, there are moments that you've sat down and you've seen that the things you're doing, like, it's not worth it. It looks like, oh, I've been doing this, but these people have not even, nobody, like, appreciate what I'm doing. Mm. And I've been doing this, like, there's no result coming out from it. It might not be now. It might be for the tomorrow. And maybe God is saying, hold on, keep, keep moving. Like, I have something up there for you. Just keep moving. And then just when you're about to call it a quit, 
you get that inner strength telling you no you should not do mm. that keep moving mm. and you see you get the strength and like you continue pushing so i think persistent like engineer tony say, said earlier on is something that everyone should have inbuilt it's mm. something that if Anybody that wants to be successful, anybody that wants to be a winner must have that spirit within. Mm. It's like a skill that you need to develop mm. because whether you like it or not, challenges will always be there. Mm. It is that skill, it is that inner strength that will keep you to, like, it will make you to keep pushing regardless. Mm. And more important for me is for you to have a goal. Mm. You can't just wake up and say from tomorrow I'll be persistent. Mm. Like, you end up not being persistent. You end up not, not winning. Mm. But when there is a goal, when there is strategy, you find out that you just keep moving. Mm -hmm. For me, just like we have stated mm. earlier on, you have to plan. Mm. You don't just jump into it. A lot of people that jumped into it are those that even stopped before they went any further. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So you have to plan what do you want to do? How do you want to go about it? Who do you need to meet? And mm -hmm. all of that. Mm -hmm. And at the end of the day, even if you failed, mm -hmm. despite the planning mm -hmm. and everything, you have still made progress. It's you part know of why? The process. Because you have learned mm -hmm. not to do it this way again. Mm -hmm. So when you are going through the journey again, there is a road that you will not take mm -hmm. because you have failed in that aspect. Mm -hmm. So for me, persistency is, first of all, encouraging yourself. Mm -hmm. It's not about what people would say to you and mm -hmm. tomorrow they are saying, why did you do it this mm -hmm. way? And then you decide to stop. Know that whatever happens, you have to um, pull through to the end and see that indeed mm -hmm. you have made progress. It's not about what someone else thinks of you. It's mm -hmm. about you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You mm -hmm. see, the life of Jesus is a perfect example. Mm -hmm. you know, And he, he has set the page already for us to follow. It's just that the way the life you know, is heating on up. You know, sometimes it gives people reasons why mm -hmm. they should just relax. But mm -hmm. think twice. Sit down. Think deep. Mm -hmm. And see, even the Jesus, the life of Jesus, that you are believing mm -hmm. in him, that his words are yea and amen, mm -hmm. that it will work on you. Check his life. Mm -hmm. Because he is the he is the author of the, the words. So he would have just sat down and just claimed the words. Mm -hmm. And they would just walk. But look at his life mm -hmm. throughout the ministry. Look at the challenges. Mm -hmm. Look at the destruction. Mm -hmm. But he knew exactly. He knew why he came. Mm -hmm. he, he, he is fully aware with the assignment. He planned for it. Mm -hmm. He came. He strategized on how to mm -hmm. conquer. Mm -hmm. Just see the destruction along the line. Just to stop him from getting to the cross. Mm -hmm. But look at how he persists. Mm -hmm. So that the will of the father mm -hmm. will be done. At the end of the week. Mm -hmm. So, is it the way you are thinking, even if you are a Christian, and then you are thinking the word of God is supposed to work on you? Mm -hmm. If that's the way you are thinking, yes, it's the right thinking. Mm -hmm. But you have to persist. You have to do the right thing. Mm -hmm. That's why I say our God is a God of persistence. Mm -hmm. you, you see how he persists to the cross. Mm -hmm. Okay, he's a God of principle. What principle are you following to achieve that profession mm -hmm. that you are into or you are envy mm -hmm. or you are wishing? To, to 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 be at the top of whatever you are mm -hmm. doing mm -hmm. that you have to push you just you don't have any option if our our lord and savior jesus christ will push mm -hmm. to the end then who are you to say you will sit down at home mm -hmm. and then relax mm -hmm. and you see see the, the, the this woman you know that was coming to the judge at some point he was not willing but he just said ha this woman, let me just grant her request mm. so that I can what I can rest because she know what she wanted mm. and she know the strategy to apply is to 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 keep coming, mm. seeing him, let him keep seeing her mm. until he gets tired and mm. grant her that her request. And look at what happened at the end, he grant her request. So what is that that you are requesting from God? Mm. Look at and the woman with the issue of blood. She also persisted. Yes. She, it was the Bible says it was a crowd. Mm. It was a thick crowd, mm -hmm. mm. but she persisted. Mm. Perseverance. She, mm -hmm. she kept on. Mm. See, the woman was not healthy. Mm -hmm. She was sick. The target is to get healed and mm. to regard. She was sick mm. because you. The only time you need to be persistent is when persistency matters the most. Mm. <laughs> of course, it's when it matters the most. Mm. You, you cannot just sit down and say, like Jemima said, you cannot persist over nothing. Mm. Was it Jemima or Joyce? I can't remember which one of them is brilliant to have said that. 
against us on the show. <laughs> Both of them said something. They said the same, same thing. Okay, one copy from the other. <laughs> <laughs> Be, if you look now, this woman, if you look at the story, mm. the woman was not well. Mm. She didn't need Jesus if she was well. Mm. But she needed Jesus because mm. she was sick. Mm. Woman with the issue of blood. For mm. how many years? Mm. Blood is dripping. Mm. And you know when blood is dripping, chances are that she will smell. Chances are, mm-hmm. she has to at keep. At that time, they were they are they are tag unclean, of so course. they are not even of allowed course. to of join course. the crowd. Of course, mm-hmm. but look at how it is. Of course, mm-hmm. but she persisted. Mm-hmm. She got. In fact, it was her persistence that made Jesus say, "Who touched me?" Yes, mm-hmm. and people are like other people that refused to be persistent. They were like, "Master, why? What? Why are you saying this? Everyone all this crowd, me. everybody is touching <laughs> you." Everybody he said, "There is one touch mm-hmm. that I felt it." Yes. 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 You see, when you when you look at life as something that is not spiritual, you fail. Mm. You fail. Mm. Everything about life is spiritual, if not for anything, for the reason that God initiated life. Mm. God is a spirit. spirit, so anything that comes from God is spiritual. Mm. Mm. So when you deal with life only from a physical sense, mm. you will have you will have troubles, trials, temptations, mm. tribulation, mm. everything. You know, mm. this issue of persistence, being persistent in things that you do. You can't wake up and be persistent about the wrong things in mm. life. Mm. Even though there are people who are doing that, kidnappers, all of these people, they persist over the wrong things. Mm. But hey, who cares? That's their goal. That's what they want to achieve. Mm. For you, is wrong. For them, that's the way of life. Mm. And they, they persist. Look at how many people they caught in Kaduna. They're asking for how many trillion? Very funny. Mm -hmm. And a cleric is coming out to say that government should negotiate with them Mm -hmm. and he will be at the forefront of the negotiation Mm -hmm. and the person is still at large. You should catch that person and shoot him before you ask him any question. Mm -hmm. How are you mediating between you and the bandits? Mm -hmm. He said he will go and he will initiate it. Mm -hmm. This man is still alive. So Nigerians... You also have to persist mm. in making our leaders do what is right. right. If somebody does what is wrong, what is the law saying? Mm. You don't negotiate with terrorists. Mm. You catch them and you do what is what is what is expected mm. lawfully to mm. them. You can't let somebody come in out and be telling you that uh, he can be the mediator between government and these people. Invite the person. When he comes, let him not leave until he takes you to where these people are. Mm. Prepare for a war. Let's not just sit down and be talking about economy. Insecurity is still there. Mm. Persist about dealing with it. Mm. The economy is still there. Persist about dealing with it. Mm. Let's not just sit down as a country and mm. start looking for solution after we have lost the nation. Mm. No, it's, it's not so. They will tell you that uh, this issue of insecurity, just forget about it. We are since not forgetting the, since it. Since the time of good luck, Jonathan, it has been. So there's nothing you can do. We are not forgetting forget about, about it because, you know, we because it is eating us deep. It is killing us. So we can't forget about mm. it. So we can't we can uh, invite such kind of attitude and then we 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 settle with it and we feel it's normal. Mm. Like yesterday I was just I was just telling someone. I said you see this life you know you you must have a plan. You must have an idea where you want to go. You must dream big. But you just have to start small. Mm. It's from the small that people will see how you are being persistent on what you are doing that is good that you want to get to where you are. And then somebody will say, if this person that is driving this Boris, if he can get bicycle, this person will do wonders. Mm. And the person will say, I have this bicycle in my garage that I'm not using. Can you just come and pick it so that it will support what you are doing? Mm. But you can't stay and be telling people story about your dreams. And then you are telling them how big your dreams are. And then you are lying down, dealing with your phone. And then complaining that people are not even helping you. In fact, you hear the complaint that people are not even supporting your dream. And you ask yourself, what dream? I say, you see, in this life, <laughs> <What dream? laughs> until, until you can impress yourself, mm. then forget it. Mm. In this life, you don't struggle. You don't persist on certain things to get better that you want to impress somebody. No, you want to impress yourself. Mm. Check yourself six months ago and say, can I buy a plate of... Ugongo, 
What's that? What's that? <laughs> what's, what's, what's that? What's that? <laughs> like, where are you from? <laughs> what's that? <laughs> what a, what like a plate, call? like a plate of pepper soup. Okay. Like what? Pl- what did you call it again? <laughs> I see why I didn't <laughs> have one yesterday. What did you call it again? <laughs> <laughs> you know, can, can, can you think six months and see how you are struggling, and now you can comfortably buy for yourself mm-hmm. and buy for others, not because you are bragging. But you look at it and said, "Yes, this I is have my achieved. Mm. I have achieved." Mm. So you are not impressing those people, mm. but you are impressing yourself because you now reflect back and said, six months ago, this this is where I was, and look at me now." And then you keep pushing. This life is not about anybody because mm. the life doesn't care. It's mm. about you, yeah. how you plan it, mm. how you strategize, and how you achieve it. Mm. Is when you achieve that's when you see people around you want to celebrate you, mm. and even those that care want to hear how you did it you see life is a journey True. and this journey is not all roses a lot of people that complain about life are not some people are not even happy with themselves and i wonder mm. how you want somebody to celebrate you or to be happy with you you don't support yourself mm. you're not happy with you but you want another person like that's why you have to say nobody is helping me nobody is. Mm. what have you done to help yourself mm. what have you done to change that situation that you're not happy mm. about like you've done nothing mm. but you want somebody to come and embrace and change that situation mm. it doesn't work like that that's why i said life does not care about you to True. keep moving yeah. and just like act like you don't even exist mm-hmm. so we need to recognize that our stay here on earth like life itself is a journey and this journey is not all rosy like it can be hell like or your path to to to, to greatness or while you're journeying to success a lot of challenges that want to pull you down it is only persistent like there's no word to replace this it is only persistent that will help you to become successful and achieve your goal and become that winner that you want mm. to be. And I just want to encourage everyone out there that regardless of the situation, regardless of the obstacle that's standing your way, keep pushing. Mm. Like, let that inner strength in you, like, uh, awaken it. Mm. Keep pushing and until you reach um, that goal. Thank you for doing this with us. We really appreciate your time on today's life. And then Adina Tony, Jane Akali, somebody on the uh, Facebook page is saying, good one. Mm. Brilliant, eloquent, Engineer Tony. Mm. Thumbs up to you. Take your flowers. <laughs> Jemmy, my man. Are you surprised that they call you brilliant? <laughs> like, like, so the rest of us are just... Uh, no, no, are well, you surprised that they call me brilliant? I feel like... <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. Are you surprised that they call me brilliant? <laughs> Well no, I'm done, surprised no. that you're surprised. We see your oh. comments. <laughs> we see your comments. Keep like, them coming. I Keep know them where coming. you're coming from. <laughs> Keep them coming. Brilliant, Jemima. Smart and eloquent. <laughs> brilliant, Joy. Off online. Off <laughs> line, brilliant. <laughs> Brilliant Joyce. Offline, <laughs> offline, brilliant Joyce. Offline, brilliant solo. Offline, eloquent smart. Me. Eloquent and smart. <laughs> Thank you all for bringing your perspective on today's <laughs> live. Until we come your way tomorrow, Equa Executive, we really appreciate your support. And to our supporters all over the world, we say thank you. Thank you for praying for Equa TV. Thank you for supporting Equa TV. We'll come your way tomorrow, same time. Stay blessed. <laughs>